Hello and welcome to Let's Play Robocop 3 on the Sega Master System. Now this film is terrible, but there have been some quite good versions of the um, of the film made into a game, uh, on the Amiga especially. Um, so we'll have to see if the Master System can, uh, can handle that, see what menu options we've got. Nothing very exciting. So we'll start on the default settings. Alright, so we have a rather rather uptight looking Robocop. He can shoot. Okay. So my immediate thoughts are the weapon sounds aren't very good. This actually feels quite a lot like the first Robocop arcade game. Walking cycle is awful. I can only imagine they did that so they don't have to use animation frames on the anything more than just his legs. Got an eviction notice posted there. Right, I don't know what that is, but it looks very much like. I have turned red. There was something shooting little fireballs at me and I didn't know what it was. It was very annoying. Hmm, not very happy the fact that the enemies can shoot you from off screen. But, you know, Robocop can jump like a champ. This is a lot like the arcade game, I think. That guy coming in on the motorcycle is very familiar to me. Right, I'm just going to get away from... Oh, well, I'm going to try and get away from this thing. Slight shame that the enemies take more than one hit, because... Um, Can't even shoot that guy. <laughs> it's like a minimum distance on the gun. I mean, the film he's got like a machine pistol. It should shoot about 15 rounds into the guy. Should definitely take the mine one hit. I just want to know what that is. Oh, we have two se uh, ten seconds to comply. Don't know why I said two seconds there, never mind. Numbers are hard. Right, let's get out of here. Cool, we've got a three-way shot on the gun. Ah! Turns out Robocop doesn't like getting run over by motorcycles. Probably gonna have to jump the motorcycles because they don't they don't seem to respond to bullets. Okay. That seems a little bit of a strange contraption. Ah, sweet sweet energy.
Oh, a drone. Don't remember anything like that in the movies. Well, I have to say, I'll give it this. What? I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Now what do I do? I think all I can do is point. Uh, is this how you get demoted to traffic? I mean, what I was going to say was this is actually probably more enjoyable than the movie. Uh, Robocop 3. Oh, oh, that was just... Yeah, that was being just being terrible. Okay, well at least we got some ammunition back. I think I see the problem. It gives you the three-way shot, but then even though you're shooting two bullets into the middle of nowhere, they can. Oh, okay, so if you hold down, you can change gun and... Oh, right, okay. So I think I possibly did have ammunition, I just didn't realise. Not every day is a school day. Nope. Oh, we've got another weapon. A laser gun. is truly terrible. <laughs> Guy's shooting a bazooka at me. He's like a crack shot with it. He's really fast. His reloading time is just Unbelievable. Um, well, that's a picture of Robocop with some 90s glowing on him. Well, um, that was Robocop 3 for the Sega Master System. I hope you enjoyed watching that, and uh, I would probably recommend giving that a go. It seems quite a lot like Robocop 1 arcade game rather than the movie Robocop 3, so that's always a good thing. Um, so yeah, uh, I will see you in the next episode of whatever I record. Bye!